Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to ACW 3.3. Today we are redoing the campaign as the Confederates. There's two reasons why I'm doing this. Um, one, I did not select the CSA when I launched the mod. That's why I didn't get any custom events or anything. The faction seemed quite dead. And that's mainly because you have two options when you launch the game. Uh, CSA or US. And I selected US and went with a CSA campaign. Not very smart. But now I've corrected that. We also have the Warpath map. Um, I thought I was running with it, but I wasn't, so here's another good reason why I um, restarted it. Um, you see here I have like West Texas, Upper Texas, Nashville, they have got like Chicago, Iowa, you name it. Like we have way more areas right now, and that's gonna, you know, give this campaign uh, an even further depth and really just and lengthen it, which I hope. Um, also, I'm still playing on very hard. I noticed that the AI is quite good, it's quite smart. Uh, but very hard is still, you know, a good challenge. We're not supposed to have an easy time. I mean, the Confederates lost because the the Union had um, the better advantage when it came to trading, technology, manpower, you name it. But that's not what we're here to do. We're here to we're here to change history, and that's usually what I do when I play Empire and stuff like that. Um, mainly, that's why I'm playing France to try and win the Napoleonic Wars. Um, and I also noticed uh, why we're probably not getting so much money because we're doing a bit of an incest trading here uh, down at the south. I don't understand. What's the point of trade? I, I don't know. We haven't got any trade partners, so we better trade with our, with each other. Why can't they just take the train that goes around here and just... I don't know. Anyways, they're doing something. Keeps them occupied. Um, occupied. Occupied. We're not fucking... Occupied. What's occupied? I don't even know. I'm not very educated. Anyways, so, let's continue. I'm looking forward to this. My... My rebel friends, we're gonna bring up some troops to the border like we did last time. I'm just gonna do what we basically did last time in the same order, unless I get obstructed by the enemy. Um, mainly get some troops going around here. Uh, get some confederate cavalry, not too much. Um, 50 barrels of tobacco produced each turn. Now, we are gonna begin by upgrading the the less expensive things everything that costs below 1000 see I have a strategy well, okay that mine can be a uh, an exception I have a little strategy going down in here that I'm gonna build up slowly instead of whoops spending everything on you know these things at the same time because then I then I'm gonna lose a lot of money and I don't know if I'll regain it in time for the war so I wanna go slow you know have a good reserve you never know. I'm gonna let the the Union declare war on me. I don't know if that's realistic. You guys said that I did a very realistic thing by attacking that fort, because um, apparently that started the war. I'm not very. I'm not. I like this American Civil War. Don't get me wrong, but I'm unfortunately not too uh, well taught within it. So, you guys will help me, because I'm pretty sure that most of you American guys have a better look on what the construction happened. Construction of libraries. Uh, depending on your political view, perhaps I don't know, but some things like battles themselves are probably quite, um, quite even-minded on both sides. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the infrastructure going here. This is really important. Need all them railroads. Okay, we don't want to go below 10,000. I need some good reserves. Um, Cities that I need to focus on. Tennessee, you need that. Uh, Mississippi, you need all of this. And Upper Texas, you need that. There we go. That's about it I'm going to do now. Like, I'm going to keep this line. Virginia, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Upper Texas. Alright. God damn it. Looking good, looking good. And then we can begin training some more troops once we get the economy up and going. Let's see if I can get some trade agreements going as well. Uh, Union States are friendly. So should we trade? This option is used to broker trade. Agreement. Nope, they did not want to do that. Friendly with the United Provinces trade. Okay, they don't want to trade, but what if I give them? Once researched, a technology can be offered to another good nation as part of a diplomatic deal. A good two thousand. A technology can be demanded okay, as long as. Okay, everyone's the really fucking grinding here. They want like my whole treasury for fucking trade agreement. Look at this. Okay, they'll they'll pay me twenty five thousand. Give me fucking bayonets. If I get in Louisiana and Mississippi, that will not happen, sir. No, goddamn no. You can take your damn trades and piss off. Florida for a trade agreement with France? I don't think so. I've seen better. Can't we just trade without me giving you parts of my country? God damn it. Alright, here we go. Yes, of course. This is what we missed out on the last time as well. This is mainly also why I restarted. So we get these cool events, all. Y'all. All. I don't know. Whatever. Um. 
<laughs> Here we go. I'm not going to read this. Uh, this is a very good history lesson, though. Each turn, which is a month, something pops up that describes what happened during that time. And if you're studying for a test or something for the American Civil War, I don't know if you have that in some states or wherever you live, I don't know. We surely don't have that in Sweden, but maybe you're writing an essay about something. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing, bro. Uh, but it's a very good idea. Uh, these were not created. Uh, blasphemy. Still gonna go a bit slow. Low and slow, that's how we like it. Getting them ribs ready, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's just say that all the one-turn buildings, except these farms, will get upgraded. What's this gonna give me? Yeah, right. More happiness. Worth it. One turn. All right. I'll go down to 20,000. Not below. Not below. That'll have to do it. God damn it. All right. Uh, looking good. We have... No. The construction of Virginian army here being trained. I'm not going to take my time and name all the units things spring. like I did before. However, don't have the time for that now. Yeah, and it's also quite true that they're, they're probably not trading with us, mainly because the Union, later in the war, blocked our trading ports and all, so we couldn't trade with uh, with any, other, any of the other countries, uh, which probably led to the financial um, failure, I guess, of that time, too. I don't know much. I'm, I'm not going to say too much, because I might be saying something that's horribly wrong. But that's that's true, though. They did blockade a lot of ports. Um. All right. Well, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take these guys and send them over to the cross. Make ready. Have them guard three companies, uh, led by Jasper oh, Hume. Line infantry, militia, but still line infantry. Um, we're gonna have to guard these crossings too. Two crossings, three. They can cross over here as well. And of course, the army of Virginia is almost ready. Income per turn is eleven thousand. That'll do me just fine. Perfect. Let's go ahead and head to February. So they want a trade agreement and they want me to give them 15,000. No, that's not going to happen. I'm going to follow the, the the rules of the house. I just want to call them. Like, I'm not going to trade with them. Here we go. The south succeeds. And also in February 18 of 61, there was the first use of telescopic sites. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Looking good. I might have to go in the middle of it, but um if so, it's because I have visitors. Vidit cavalry dragoons. Nice, I've got rifles. Let's get some of those. What's it looking at? Ten thousand turn. That's alright. What's the upkeep cost for these guys? Two hundred and eighty. Hmm. That'll do. Army wise now I'm not gonna get any more. Okay, let's upgrade our plantations. See, I'm just getting more of these farms. Even though I thought I went through all of them, I'm still getting more. I don't know why. I don't know why, damn it. Get some of these iron workshops going. That'll be enough for this turn. I'm satisfied, indeed. The Union can... Aw, oh, alright. I was just going to say, the Union can come at us, and we will fight them back. Jefferson Davis III, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, god damn it. War declared, it is now all out, and it seems like they're going to go on the aggressive straight away. The South creates a government, and Robert E. Lee has spawned, I believe. Apparently not. But something about Robert E. Lee, perhaps, well, didn't he take command of, uh, of the army? I believe he did. Supreme commander. That's true, though. I, I should know that. and I, Indeed I do, so I'm quite confident in that. If there was someone else, correct me on it. I mean, I'll learn something myself while doing these. These areas are slightly threatened. I might as well just upgrade things down here further, since uh, that should do me better. The, the tab details all People aren't too happy. Why am I not even doing any taxing? And shows how of course we have to do taxing. That means profit, that people are going to get a tad grumpy, but we will compensate by recruiting one unit of militia or volunteers in each city. As we are in war, things might occur. 
let's get two regular infantry units, along with some artillery. Make sure we're getting one unit in each. That's enough. Any infrastructure that can be upgraded? I'm going for the lower tier upgrades first. Alright, so now that we're at war, we can attack these guys. I don't know, is it time or is it not time? Do we want to strike them first or do we want to wait for them to attack us? That's the question. Uh, over here, as you can tell, they're closing in with their Union Army. Quite a lot of artillery and two gen general units. Uh, not the most pleasant view. I'm going to counter by getting some artillery. Uh, we're having a lot bigger up, uh, income now each turn. So I should be able to spend away more now. Do mind, I'm playing on very hard. I, 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 hope, I hope I can win it when I'm playing as both sides. Because losing no matter the side is not nice. Uh, so um, that should be interesting. Uh, slavery. Uncle Tom's Cabin. As I said, I'm not going to read everything. It would lengthen my Let's Play insanely. And I'm not going to, you know, sit there and do all of that. Let's get a military governor's encampment. We might have to prepare for defense here soon, sir. I feel you, son. Ah, Guy Pickard. I know him. Custer's Cavalry. That's cool. Well, I think it's time for the first battle. I don't know how long I can record this, uh, or how, how much longer I can go on recording this. But I think it's time for the first battle. We are about to engage Union Infantry. The first battle of the Civil War in my campaign will be the Battle of the Outskirts of Washington, D.C., March 1861. Uh, a general less army, to say the least, uh, led by... Pff, I don't know his name, because I don't know. Uh, however, he's attacking a small skirmishing force uh, from General Guy Pickard. And the fight will not commence at all. Um, I retreat, because <laughs> that was foolish, to say the least. Uh, I don't know how, but it seems like... the the whole area around him could reinforce him, so whoops, I would draw what I just said. That was not a good thing to do. Let's see here, he's getting away. What's my income at? 9,157. Looks good and looks alright. Um, I'm gonna take my army and the artillery. And go ahead and reinforce Nashville, Upper Texas, go in from behind. If I notice that he's returning back to attack me, I'm just going to have my units go back to Mississippi. Oh, wow. There's a lot of units. I wish I had as much money as they had, but I did. Because, I mean, they're trading probably with a lot of nations already. Oh, he went past Nashville. He left Kentucky open? I don't know what he's thinking right now, but I will go in there and cease it. I promise you a battle, my friends. I promise you a battle. Good. Now. He can't cross. He cannot. I can turn around and attack him. Leave Tennessee open. But I am planning to take Frankfort. Kentucky. Let's recruit a hell of a lot of troops in here. Take my whole army. Move out. Demand surrender. Surrender refused. Well, then we'll have a battle on our hands, son. Let's fight it out. Hm. So, um, not much of a bigger uh, engagement than last time. Um, but there should at least be something. Um, not attacking with any regular units today. I was, I was hoping I could show you the, the cool drum sounds and all that when you have like regular infantry, or at least volunteer infantry. But this will have to do. Kill him. Kill them all. See his General Thomas Stonewall Jackson after Union's pillaging of Fredericksburg. I hope you're not mad at my accents. Like, when I play... Like, imagine if all the UK viewers, or the British viewers, when I did, like, British accents that probably don't go through fully, um, during my Empire campaign, like, charge! Uh, and I wasn't even British, but, but you know. When I over-exaggerate. They're not getting pissed. So, when I over-exaggerate... Sorry about this lag. Wait, I think it's a common... Em no, there we go. Um... So don't get mad, please. Let me let my ha let me have my little fun with the accents. They're obviously all overdone, for 
for fun. I mean, if I wouldn't overdo them or, you know, bring it into such a ridiculous uh, level, 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 sorry, um, you wouldn't notice them, and then there wouldn't be a point of doing them, would it? No, nope. God damn it. 44th Regiment of Union State Militia, and the 45th. Well, we will march straight at them and fight them. God damn it. Even my cavalry can get in a good position. This here is an awesome hill. I'm gonna ride up here. Boom. And we're gonna fight today's battle honorably and fashionably. So we're gonna split them up like that. Go together a bit. Dismount. Walk down a bit. You. You. That's about it. Okay, looks good. Just gonna put these guys over here. No. No. Have they gone insane? A tad, perhaps. Almost in range of these bastards, sir. Give them Yankee bastards all you can, sir. Yes, sir. These are like militia cavalry as well. They're not really that good. I mean, it's a small squad of fast cavalry used for scouting. The word vidette is a spelling variant of the word vedette, which in turn derives, I can't read it properly, from French and Italian words vedetta, which probably means mounted, sentry posted forward. Mountain, I don't know. Some sort of formations thing. Keep up the fire. Send in the rest of the brigade. Ooh, nice holy. This is militia on militia, so... I don't expect the Union to be able to pull off some magical things. They're winning slightly. I believe their militia is slightly better than my state militia. They, their militia's gotten a tad better training. I really need to stop using these formations, they're messing it up. This is looking good, this is looking fine. Keep up the fire. Okay, mount. And then I'm gonna have you ride down into their flanks. They're brave, but they're stupid. We're marching up against us. And we're gonna shoot down in the ground in front of us. I think so. Yeah. God damn it. Hate that ground. Okay, we're gonna move up on this side here. And then we're gonna move up this way. Go, go, go. You guys better hurry as well. Okay, you're not hurrying up fast enough. Run! Damn you, run! You'll be tired, but your horses won't. They're shooting mostly into the ground as well. We're not taking too many casualties, sir. Once we get in position, we'll open fire again, sir. Yes, sir. They're winning slightly. What's going on here? What's going on? God damn it. I need to split further. What does a man have to do to get some kills? We'll march forward. We'll follow the line. Cavalry, you ready? God, get, damn it, get mounted. Mounted. Blah, blah, blah. Accent's messing it up. I'm just gonna try and not do too much of that. They're shaking. God damn, you shouldn't be so shaken. Here comes the volley that's gonna change it. Are they routing? Ah, uh, it's back and forth. Now mount it and get down there. They're losing now. Yeah, my state militia is nothing that I trust them. See what just happened? Go, 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 go! Cavalry, cavalry, go, 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 go! Go! Cavalry, God damn it, go! We just killed Shakerly Roberts. Here comes the 3rd Regiment of Dragoons. Oh yeah, Virginia Kevin. No, I was saying Virginia, this is more like Tennessee. Oh my god damn it. So cool. 
they return now that they saw their cavalry coming down. Oh, these guys are fighting evenly. Perhaps it's... I don't know. Oh, this is gonna change things quite heavily. But the first battle is gonna be won by us. God damn it. Good shit. Oh, we lost our general. He wasn't really a general, though. He's like, well, the cavalry. Why are you retreating when my cavalry is charging straight into them? Like, this is an obvious victory right now. No. Okay, state militia is definitely less... I mean, I expected them to be even, like, to be alright in melee, but no. Or not melee, but mor morally wise, I expected them to, to be okay, but apparently they're worse than I thought. Are you wavering? What are you thinking about? Get your wits together, man. Okay, the, the cavalry is winning. And together with the infantry, we should be able to beat these guys. But I'm sure that the Union Militia has got a better morale and all that comes with it. What just happened over here? I'm telling you, the I'm not going to try and get too repetitive, but the, the morale amongst these militiamen are insanely low right now. I'm going to definitely stop using these. I'd be lucky if I'm winning this right now. It ain't looking good. I mean, we're winning the battle itself, but... They just broke off here, too. What's going on? I must ask. What the hell's going on? Okay, they broke off now, finally. I'm playing on very hard. Hopefully that doesn't change anything. If that changes it so they're, like, impossibly overpowered, then I'd be pissed, but nope. Whew, end battle. Here we go, heroic victory. Yes. I'll go ahead and ask Hinko, the guy that made the mod, uh, see if the, the Union State Militia has better stats than the, uh, than the Confederate State Militia. Right, first battle won by us, and we have captured Kentucky. More income. Ooh. Uh. I'll go on playing until, I, until I'm told to stop. Not, said, not told to, but until I have to. Okay, the Union's amassing a lot of troops there. That's a full stack army already. Hey, we drew a bit. Mm. I'm not gonna give them anything. Stop. Okay, Jackson's been besieged. As yes, I figured, and our army went a tad too far away. Um, it's not gonna be pretty. I don't know how long they're gonna be. American Civil War, here we go. April, 1861. The attack on Fort Sumter. And the Union calls to arms. Virginia succeeds. Okay, we're gonna get these guys up in position. More of these farms are appearing here and there, so I bet... Um, I bet I didn't miss them. I just didn't... They just weren't here before. No, I don't think I'm gonna get that. Population growth and national national prestige reduces the chance of food shortages. It's too far up in the front line. There's some more easy money. Anything else? I mean, they do give me income. They do good. All right, good. Like, if they were, if they've been disabled, not to or whatever. I don't know for any reason. Then that pissed me off. Then I've been focusing on the complete different thing, or the wrong thing, rather said. Um, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Let's see here. They're kind of pissed. That made them feel a tad better. I'm gonna send my vedette cavalry into their territories raiding. Now I'm actually gonna keep them here. What does it cost to replenish all these guys? A thousand? Yeah, that's worth it. They're weak as it is. They need more men. Drill schools for two thousand allows me to recruit more people. Did I see a general around here? No. Nope. I get the drill school. I'll get everything. Virginia is gonna be my super place of awesomeness. I'm gonna get some more. 
What's the upkeep for these guys? 300. I'll get three of them. I want to be safe. I don't regret the fact that I'm playing it on very hard, but I am starting to rethink my choice. I'm wondering if it was the smartest thing to do. Okay, they, they broke off the siege. These guys are just going to keep picking on me, aren't they? Well, I'm going to have to go out and face them. That's one thing for sure. These guys are still being replenished, so I can't send them out. However, I can get some artillery going here and some proper line infantry to counter the threat. The threat. I keep saying threat. There's no threat to counter. Um, <laughs> uh, these ready guys are going to return up here and stand in position, ready camp. to fight. Sir. These guys are doing okay. Uh, maybe I should send someone out for scouting. I mean, the, 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 and the, the territories that interest me now is St. Louis and making sure that they can't do any damage to me over here, which is insanely important right now. Still having a couple of areas up being upgraded. I'm gonna get that one as well. Any smaller areas? Nope. That's about it. And I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get any trade agreements going soon either. They're pissed. Fuck. They don't like war, I guess. Well, who likes war? But still. Hopefully there won't be any rebels rising against me. I mean, I am the rebels, so... <laughs> Can't get double-crossed. I'll be right back, one second. Alright, I'm back. Uh, mm, hmm. Alright. May of 1861, the Confederacy declares war. Well, we've been in the fucking war for, what, two months now or something. Um, I don't know how that works. Anyways, here we go. We have our troops at the ready. What's this? Cavalry and artillery. Yes, sir. Could easily be countered by artillery yes, and infantry, I hope. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're withdrawing now, it seems like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish them off. I don't like them wandering about the place. Anything more? How are these guys feeling? Okay, they're alright. They could feel better, obviously. Hard. They're better than nothing. Your humble these guys will be my frontier for now. If I go up Ready against armies order. without artillery, I'll be fine. Ready and waiting order. These guys are just going to remain here as well. Yes, sir. I wonder, could I take those six units with Ready the artillery forward. and infantry I've got? <sighs> I know what kind of impact artillery does to the men. I get Hampton's legions of dragoon. Dragoons. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. One big army there. Going into my lands here and there. That's Mexico. I'm at war with the Mexican rebels. Oh, give me a break. Colonial line infantry. Vito Reyes? What the hell? What the hell? Mexican rebels. Give me a break. They're not even they're not even in the minor nations selection. I can't even declare peace on them. Fuck. This is a mess right now. Uh what do I focus on? That army or this army? Uh I think I'll stay inside for now to be quite honest. Uh however, on this part, sir, you guys can expect some battles. Sir, perhaps not today. But as soon as I get the next episode up and going, oh yeah, 
there will be fighting all right that's one thing for sure um should I send out a force to deal with these guys yeah I think I'll do that I'll get the artillery and some of these no oh, fuck it's kind of in the open now I thought they could actually get there in time so that could work indeed depending on where they spawn I hopefully and ah, this will be good they should spawn behind me so I was going to cover their entrance. Because, you know, when artillery enters the field, they're not, you know, dismounted or whatever you want to call it. So they can just they can just get picked off by anything really easily. So I have to make sure that the artillery comes in safely. And then it's a sure victory. But still, I have three line infantry units of regular infantry. They've got three state militia units. So I should be able to win this without any, uh, without any artillery as well. Um... The enemy's down there. I'm gonna have to rush this way. If I only knew where I came in myself, it'd be easier. Nope. Oh, they're down there. They're gonna have to climb and walk really far up. Looks like they're going into the defensive. Sweet. I'm just gonna take this hill, put some artillery up here, and bomb the hell out of them. Oh, yes. These guys positioned. Artillery's coming in. guys up here. Yes. Sweet. Oh yeah, of course. I forgot to show you. These are regular infantry. Wait a minute. I'm gonna redo this. I stop the plane. Forward! so cool. I love it. It's so atmospheric. Get all the guns to the position. God damn it. Can't wait to start bombarding now. If I mute my microphone, it's because, well, I simply have to, but I'll still keep on playing. I'm not going to quit out of this battle. Reinforcements. Ooh. They could change the picture, but it's nothing that important. So they're tired because I'm telling them to, to run. Can artillery even run? It shouldn't make the difference. I'm just trying to save some time here. Go, 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 go. Once we get in position with the howitzers. I feel bad for the artillery. Uh, I mean, enemy. Well, artillery is insanely important uh, in this war. It was insanely important in this war. Some people even refuse to attack the enemy without artillery. And I understand that because... It's a, it's a, it's a big thing, especially when you have this kind of artillery. That's quite advanced, you know. Howitzers firing shells and stuff. It's nasty. Nasty business. Hear the guns. Are they gonna march at me now? <laughs> Good luck, brother. God damn it, you're dead. You're dead now, son. Bring the guns to beer. Bear. Beer. Bear. Yes, Bear. Oh, suck on that, you janky bastards. Huh? So fun marching up against me now, huh? Is it? Okay. I'm gonna meet them. If they're gonna, if they're gonna actually climb these hills. I'll be sure to meet them. Forward! We don't want to keep our friends waiting, do we? Good thing they're howitzers, so they fire over the thing instead of at them instantly. Because that just quite painful. They started firing. Double time it, boys. Double time it. Oh god, we're taking losses like hell. see me some routing 
position. And here we go. Oh yeah, baby. They hear the rattle of the muskets. Hear the rattle of the muskets. Keep up the firing. Sir, why are you not firing? Tell your men to get the fire going. Wheel to the left a bit. Okay, we only have one more target now. This line. The one back there can be finished up by artillery and fire. Okay, they return. It's brave, but come on, we have Confederate artillery and shit. Line infantry everywhere. You're not gonna get any. Done for your son, you're done for. Goddamn done for. Barb! Same as the last unit, let's just shoot these guys down as they're running. Let's walk down this way now. Battalion forward to march. Yes, sir. It's a glorious day for the Confederates. The enemy cannot withstand our power. Where this war is winning. It's awesome, it's winning, it's awesome. <laughs> We're winning, by the set. We're just gonna take cover here by the custom defenses that's been added to the game. Like, all the maps are so well made, realistic for the time as well. I mean, obviously the world doesn't change the, its freaking terrain over time, like over a couple of years during wars and all that, but still, like, there's no gigantic waterfalls here and there. I don't even know why I'm saying that, there wasn't. In every game, anyways. Oh, they're playing my favorite song. Wait. I thought I heard. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Really, the atmospheric once again. Atmospheric as hell. And they're routing, sir. They're routing. God damn it! Praise the artillery! Hoorah! I don't know, they did these kind of weird war cries back then, like, um, like, or something like that, I don't know, I can't mimic it, but you probably heard it. You're firing at the wrong target. We need to put fire on the enemy's line there. I mean, we're just probably also making sure that they're not going to be returning. Oh! That's gruesome. I've seen sh fucked up shit in Total War. That was some properly fucked up shit in Total War. Keep moving. If they're not routing now, okay, they started firing at will a bit. Oh, so good sound. The sounds are amazing. as fuck. You know what, I'm kind of ruining the whole thing when I'm using this shit. Victory, sir. Victory. And that's about it for today. That ends this episode. It's been nice playing with you guys, and I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Should be arriving tomorrow, if not, uh, it should be later during the next week. So, I'm just going to adjust my microphone a bit, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.